Alrighty, folks, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> welcome to Pennsylvania Rock Hunter on a whole new location. That behind me is an extremely high mountain. Well, hillside. Not necessarily the safest hillside, but I do have extra eyes with me and extra ears. So I'm playing it as safe as humanly possible. As you can see, it has fallen. Not very recently, but recent enough. And if anybody knows anything about mountains and hillsides, after winter, everything thaws out and things get loose. But <laughs> this is interesting and something I never knew about Pennsylvania. Well, at least not this section, this side of Pennsylvania. In between the uh, cracks and crevices of this hillside, there's calcite and it is absolutely gorgeous so I'm gonna I've already popped off a couple pieces and I'm gonna flip this camera around and now I'm gonna show you the couple pieces that I've already pulled off and uh, let you have a look-see so let's do that right about mm, now sounds good check these out look at this stuff it is just so flippin' pretty. Don't look pretty from this angle, but look at the waves. It is so pretty. And there's so much banding in this stuff from all the layers over the years. And of course I had to get me a big old piece. But I'm not done here. Not by any stretch of the imagination. And, uh, yeah. The backside ain't looking too pretty, but it's still kind of cool. Little drooziness in there and whatnot. But I don't suspect I'm going to be here too terribly long. Because, well... As I sit here, and there's a huge widow maker up above me, I'm hearing little pebbles falling, and I don't want to be here when that happens, if that de thing decides to let loose. So, I'm going to chip off quite a bit, as much as I can in about, oh, maybe a half an hour, if even that long, might be 20 minutes, enough to fill my bag up a bit. And, uh, probably not going to film too much while I'm here, but, uh, I will definitely film when I get back to my house. And I am not liking the number of rocks that just fell off of that hillside, so I'm going to be moving here shortly. But that's okay, because there's more over it that way. But, uh, yeah. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I promise I'll come back in one piece. I'll be back soon. Talk to you in a bit. In case anybody was wondering, this stuff gets pretty thick. <laughs> and it is shiny. It's beautiful. I did move down a good ways just to get out of the way of anything that might fall if it decides to. Because right up there to the left of that shadow and up to the very top is where that widow maker is right there is the one i'm worried about so yeah all right i'm gonna get back to it and i will talk to you soon Alrighty, we're back for the wrap up um wow what a day like i said sorry for the uh lack of footage at the uh dig site there but um yeah, it was a little tiny bunch. Too sketchy. Um, I didn't really feel too safe filming without being able to keep my own two eyes on the hillside. Let alone my extra eyes that were there. But uh, I did come away with a good bit of stuff. Um, we're going to go over some of it. Not all of it. I'm not going to bore you with... The details of everything I am going to show you some pretty cool stuff though 
Um, the coolest stuff is stuff like this piece here. Um, now, it might not look like much, but if I get it wet and you look, you look right in here, you can see all those layers. And yes, I will definitely be getting some close-ups of this stuff. Um, there's hundreds of layers. Tons and tons of layers, which I think will make beautiful pendants if I start cutting this stuff out. Um, there's just layers upon layers upon layers. I guess some people would call it onyx. Um, I'm going to call it banded calcite. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, I got chunks of it, like this, that are super thick. Again, doesn't look like much. You get it wet. Got to dry it a little bit because it got a little too wet, but there's just so many layers on here. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up, but... That is just absolutely incredible. Got huge chunks there. Some of the host rock. Some pretty cool vugs in there. No quartz, unfortunately. Um, look at the ripples. Almost looks like it belongs in a cave. Let me move these over here out of the way. this piece right here I would have to say is my favorite this right here was smack up against the rock that it came off of and if you look now you can't really see much can you let me get it wet let me adjust the light here a little bit Look at the layers in that. That is going to make a killer pendant. I am definitely going to be taking a slice off of this. And turning that into a pendant. Because that is just simply beautiful. The other end got layers in it too. They're not quite as pretty. But probably still make a pretty nice pendant. Um, move some of these other pieces out of the way because I'll show you the big chunk that I got. The biggest piece is this monstrosity. And it makes my hand look tiny. Yes, I have one heck of a tan line from my ring. I took it off so I didn't get get it all wet underneath. But yeah, it makes my hand look tiny. But the ripply wave effect on this is really cool. And this has a ton of bands in it. On both, oh well, all the way around I guess you could say. But uh, some really cool stuff. Even the back side of it's really cool. That's the biggest chunk that I got. The really cool stuff though is that stuff there. And this stuff here. <laughs> oh, I got so much. This is all crystalline calcite. Which, yeah, it's still ugly on the outside. But on the inside, it is absolutely beautiful. And if I can do this real quick, move my stool. One thing that I found that is really cool is if I break out my UV light right here, El Cheapo from Walmart. 
shut out this light. Oh, look, it's dark. This stuff glows so pretty. I mean, look at this. And what's extra cool? It's phosphorescent. Look at that afterglow. Oh, I love this stuff. Yeah, it all glows. It's so cool. So pretty. And it all gets that afterglow. Well, of course that one doesn't want it. But, yeah, it is just so neat. And I got a bunch of it. All of this right here has the afterglow. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to be doing so much stuff with this. Turn my light back on so we can take a closer look. There we go. Got some light on the situation here. But yeah, got some real nice crystalline structure in some of this. It's really super pretty calcite. And of course I buried the one piece I wanted to look at somewhere in this pile. I got one piece. Where did it go? It's a smaller piece, but it's really pretty. And I hid it from myself. Here's one. It's crystalline, but I don't think this lens is going to focus on it, but it's also banded, which is really cool. But there was one other piece I wanted to look at with you guys. If I can find it, where did it go? It's hiding from me. All right. Hmm. It disappeared. Where did you go? Gotta love when you get this stuff live action, right? <laughs> and I'm not gonna edit this out because you guys deserve to see the process. I, at least that's how I feel. Um, I had one piece that was basically honey calcite it was a nice beautiful yellow color and I had it here I just had it a minute ago and I was looking at it before I started filming and now it disappeared I will find it though I promise This piece right here that I showed you that was glowing real nice though. I think I may cut this here or somewhere. Clean it up nice. Get all this junk off the outside front and back. And I may actually carve it one day. And see what I can do with it. I have no idea where that piece of calcite disappeared to. Huh. It was really pretty. It done up and grew legs and walked away. One other thing I did do is when I got home is I took this bump right here and I cut it. To see what the inside looked like and turned out pretty neat it does have some interesting layering in it um gonna have to polish it of course to see what exactly is going on inside but i think it'll polish up pretty nice 
Um, you know, the layers are kind of difficult to see. You can see them better where I didn't cut it, I guess. But once I polish it up on some sandpaper, I think it'll turn out pretty nice. One other thing that I found <clears throat> while I was down there, and I totally wasn't expecting it, though being in coal country, I should have expected it, was this little guy right here. This little chunk of wonderfulness stinks to high heaven because this little tidbit right here is uh, pure raw sulfur it stinks my fingers are going to stink to high heaven after this but yeah it smells terrible it's going to go into a glass case all by itself so it doesn't stink up anything else in my collection because yeah it smells foul it is yellow and gray and smells horrible but yeah that stinks something fierce but yeah this was my little calcite adventure this stuff isn't going to glow under normal light with a weak black light but hey i think i found that piece of honey calcite how about that there it is got a nice little yellowish tint to it but it's got all kind of crazy bands in it too i guess it's more of a banded onyx calcite than it is honey but it's still pretty I think that'll make a nice pendant. Maybe a nice cabochon once I get a flat lap. But some of this stuff is just thick. That's easily three quarters of an inch to an inch thick of just pure calcite. And it is just gorgeous. This stuff's going to be so much fun to work with once I get my uh, flat lap. Actually, I'm working on getting the uh, angle cabber from High Tech Diamond, hopefully, here in the next month or so. And I can actually start cabbing some stuff up, start polishing and grinding. There's another funky piece here. Got some nice white calcite on the back of it. Got bands on the inside. Another chunk here. I mean, I just came home with so much calcite. And this was all picked up in like half an hour, 45 minutes. And like I said, that's not all of it. There's even more over there by my fishbowl. I just brought so much stuff home. I don't have time to cover it all. But, uh, yeah, I think this is going to do it for the wrap-up. I'm going to toss you guys over to the slideshow. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Take care.